My name's Hayley Foster. Um, I work in a school called Park Lane Primary School, which is based in the Neaton in Warwickshire. I think handwriting is still massive and it should have such a big part of school life. Um, I know technology is moving forwards now, um, but particularly for me in early years, I think having such a strong focus so early on, and then that would just build that momentum as the children grow through the school. And I think it's so important that children are still being taught to do it, but also do it the right way. I think because in early years handwriting is such a big thing and everything is cross-curricular within the early years um, so handwriting isn't just about just literacy lessons and just phonics lessons handwriting impacts all areas of learning for the children so I think by having such a big emphasis, emphasis on it so early on then as they grow throughout the school they'll become really confident writers and I think they need that they need that in all areas of their learning if they're doing science, if they're doing maths, you know, if they've got that confidence so early on, then they're just going to fly them throughout the school. I think today, obviously, technology plays a big part in where we are um, and within our time frame. But for children, writing is just as important as it ever has been. We can't hope that they're going to become professional human beings and be successful in life if they can't pick up a pencil and write. So if anyone said to me, handwriting's not important now, that's in the past, it's a modern day, I wouldn't agree with them. I think, you know, if we want children to thrive and do well, they need those skills. From day one, when children enter early years, you can see straight away the children that are confident writers, and that impacts all the other areas, so their PSED, their emotional well-being, and then there are the children that just sort of strive and they want to sit down, they want to be writing, and sort of off they go. And then there are those children that sort of almost, and it's sad really, but they almost avoid situations and scenarios where they've got to write and they'll go more for like construction and those things because they almost feel like they've not got the confidence and the skills to do so. So what's massive for me is that by using things like Start B and things that actually they're looking wow and they want to get in there and they want to have a go, it's building their confidence so much so that then when we're not doing handwriting lessons in other areas of learning, they're saying to me, oh, I must remember, the middle finger goes behind, and they're using all the little sayings um, to really impact writing wherever they are, so that now if they're in the construction area, they're grabbing a clipboard, they're grabbing a pencil, they've got their paper, they're writing about, right, what am I building? What materials do I need to use? And I can see them looking down and looking at how they're holding that pencil and sort of checking it themselves. So for me, I've seen a massive difference of really how those children are very anti-writing, anti-holding a pencil, and now going to independent learning choices and picking up a pencil and writing without me asking them, without me even being involved. So it's really lovely to see. With the children now coming to us from nursery, already starting all these things like how do they hold the pencil, how do they write their names, how do they do patterns, and sort of building their strength and their motivation so they can write for longer pieces of longer periods of time. And I think then when they come to us in reception, they're already going to be so much more skilled. I know in previous years, we've had children that have come to reception, no idea how to hold a pencil, no idea how to form any letters, how to write their name. So we're always starting from really step one. So it takes us almost so long to not only catch those children up, but make sure then they're meeting their age-related expectations where now if they're coming to us and they can do all these wonderful things, that means we can really challenge them and push them further. And to think by the end of early years, they're already going to be able to write their name perfectly. They can hold their pencil perfectly. They can do their lowercase and in the future, hopefully uppercase letters perfectly too. So that then by the time they exit early years, they're already ready to join, which is amazing to think from where we started to where we're going to end up. And then by the time those children then get to key stage two, and they've got all those things, then writing shouldn't, shouldn't be anything but magnificent because they've already done all of that wonderful experience and that progression. So far, we've found the way the resources work within school to work really, really, really well. Um, we have two stations in school, so that's fantastic. So that if we're having a Start B session within reception, both classes can be doing it at the same time. That way then we can also make sure year one are accessing it too, nursery are accessing it also, um, and also it's so well organised that it's really simple to see, okay, for this Start B handwriting session, these are the things we need out, then there's also lots of lovely choices available so that you can make sure you've got a good variety for your um, different Start B stations. 
and everything is just so interactive that the children love it, whether it's the squishy ball squeezing and sort of building those sort of muscles, whether it's been um, the colouring station with the stencils and I can see them sort of checking they're holding their pencil and they're doing it the right way. And even things like rulers, we've never really used rulers before in reception, but we get them out and the children are loving actually just practising how to draw the lines because they've never engaged in it before. So it's all new and exciting for them. So I found just the organisation of it really simple. Um, it's great that you just wheel your trolley in. It's all there, ready to go. From our standpoint, there's no planning. There's no, right, we need to make this. We need to make sure this is ready. You just wheel your trolley in and ready to go. Well, each session starts with Hannah Jane, um, who comes in and sort of delivers what the lesson's going to be about. She models how to do the exercise for that day, and she tells you a little bit about what stations the children can take part in. And I think that works really well, because I think it makes a change from the children listening to us to listen to another child. And I think they find that engaging too. I think it catches their concentration. And I think then it frees myself up, and I'm sure the other teaching staff agree, so that we can be going round as they're singing the pencil grip song with Hannah Jane. Actually, I can be checking, have they got that correct grip? And then any misconceptions I can be correcting. Where if I'm standing at the front, it's almost like you're trying to do this job and you're trying to work with the children. So it takes that element away. So it's really lovely to sort of just take that step back and just be with the children. My favourite thing about Start B, I think, is how much the children enjoy it. From the second they saw it, their faces were amazing. And they said, wow, and they were straight in there. So for me, I think it's that interactive aspect that just make the children so excited and want to do it. And we had um, an open day within school and we invited future reception children in and we showed them right this is start B this is what we started using this is what it does and the nursery children the nursery now that will be reception were straight in there picking up the pencils having a go and the and it was one of the things that the parents actually said you know we're really liking your school and that's one of the things we think our children will love about your school so it shows that straight away the children love it I think as a way of sort of now the next step for us, because the children are on board, they know how to use it, that's working really, really well. Um, but the next step now is to get parents involved, because obviously we've advertised, we start B school now, we're going to have handwriting excellence, but the parents won't quite see, well, how does it all work and what is it all about? So I think it would be a really good idea now if we have an open day, get parents involved, maybe have a schedule, so many parents in each day, and working alongside the children. So not just us standing at the front, right, this is a light box, this is, but seeing the children use it, because for me, that's what's so enjoyable about it, and it's seeing how hands-on it is. So I think that'd be a really good idea. So something new we've decided to develop in school is to really celebrate the progress the children have made with Start B. So it's about making every child feel involved and feeling proud of themselves. So what we've done is we've made a display and it's a writing gallery and every child has their name and a place for their work. Then what we do is, as the children at this stage are practising how to write their name correctly, each week we take an example of that, we put the date on and we just peg it up on the wall. And then what we will then see is as the children continue with their progression, that then you can look back at the first piece at the back to the most current piece and wow, we're going to see an amazing difference. So, and it's also just the children themselves like to go over and they like to look and say, oh, this is what I was doing before, but now I can do it. So I've got one little boy who really struggles with his letter G and he's not forming it correctly. And then yesterday was the first day using the light boxes that he ever formed his G and his name correctly. And he was so proud of himself and so impressed. So now that will go on the wall and you can see, oh, at the back, I couldn't do it. But now, look, I can. So that's something that we're doing now, which I think the children are going to absolutely enjoy.